Dylan, thanks for your time. Um, obviously, you prefer to be on the field, but is there a silver lining at all these last couple of weeks to having the opportunity to see the defense up close on the sideline before you get out there and, and play in it for the first time? Uh, definitely. I think that, you know, just being able to watch the ones, uh, Kari and, you know, uh, Hook in front of me, just being able to see things done correctly, it helps me, uh, you know, especially with my mental reps, uh, just being able to prepare myself the right way and seeing how it's supposed to be done. Charlie Clifford. Julian, it's been fun to read up on your story. Um, any details on your musical background and your basketball background? Um, I mean, my brothers played basketball. They're, they're all taller than me, 6'7", six, 6'6". Six, six, uh, so, you know, I grew up playing basketball. In terms of singing, my dad was an artist as well as my mom. She sings as well. Um, so, you know, we just messed around a lot, you know, younger, especially being younger. Uh, my family used to always make us do like little recitals for, for um, our, our older siblings and stuff. So, you know, I just kind of mess around with music a little bit. I have to ask you about your first recital with the Colts. How did you, how were the nerves beforehand? What did you see once the place was rocking? I didn't really get nervous because, you know, singing, once they said, you know, it's a singing competition, singing karaoke, I was like, oh, okay. This is kind of something that I'm used to. Um, you know, all growing up, I was in, you know, choir, and I, I, I've i always been performing um, in, in school plays and everything like that. So I was kind of just um, excited to, you know, do a little bit because I know guys are surprised. Thank you. Mike Chapel. Julian, can you take us through the, the process from, you know, when you have the, the, the injury and the immediate surgery, what's this eight or nine months been like for you? Um, it's It's been a process, you know. Um, it's one that I've always trusted. And uh, to be honest, I never had any negative thoughts. Uh, as soon as I got hurt, I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in God. And uh, I kind of just believed that, you know, I was here for a reason because one, I could handle it. And two, um, I needed it for, for something bigger. And, you know, uh, I was blessed enough to be put in this situation. So, um, you know, uh, the journey's been, been long, but it's been worth it. And it's been a lot of progressing and learning on the way. Never any, any doubts that this would not go as quickly as you, as it has. Um, honestly, I didn't really, you know, think too far ahead. I, I've, I've always, you know, thought of, you know, what, what I can do now. And, um, you know, as far as surgery went, the first thing I thought of was, you know, how, how can I um, progress today? And, you know, as long as I've done that, it's just focused on what's going on today. I've progressed quickly than I thought. One, one last, where are you? Are you 80 percent, 90 percent in your mind? Where are you as far as being back? Um, in my in my mind, I would say high 90s, um, 95, if if a little bit higher than that. Um, I feel really good, and you know the training the training staff here has done a really great job with me, um, just under making me understand that um, the better I feel, the more I'm going to want to be out there. But I can't just rush out there. I got to make sure that my knee can handle it, uh, as well as you know mentally, I got to be prepared to come in and know what I'm supposed to do on the field. So it's been really it's been really fun, but I feel really good. Thank you, Stephen Holder. Hey, Julian, I know you got to continue to be patient, but from what you've seen of the defense, um, how do you think it suits your skill sets and, and what you do best? Um, I guess particularly free safety, which I think is what Chris Ballard told us you would likely be. Um, do you have a good feel for that fit? I would say I definitely have a good feel. You, like a lot of the players have said, uh, you know, you, seeing it's one thing, but being out there is another. And, uh, you know, the more reps I get, the more comfortable I will feel. I think that it plays um, very well into, you know, my strengths, uh, just being a guy who likes to make plays and being all over the field, um, using my speed, but as well as using technique and um, just trusting that what the coaches are telling me is true. And, I mean, so far, I mean, they're, they're NFL coaches for a reason, so. Um, you know, honestly, I think that it helps me a lot, especially just being in a lot of zone and being able to get my eyes on the quarterback. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Were you a corner at one point, I think? Yes, sir. So yeah, I've only played one, one year of safety, which yeah. was last year, my senior year. Um, this will be my second year. Um, I was a corner for three years at Utah. And so I was going to ask, how, how does that sort of, um, I, I don't know, I guess you bring some instincts from, from playing corner to safety, and how does that help? It helps a lot, especially, um, you know, when, when it comes to man-to-man. -to -man, um, I'm used to playing man-to-man. -man. I mean, at Utah, that's all we did was play man-to-man. -man. And, uh, you know, it's just our guys versus their guys. So it, it makes me comfortable knowing that, you know, if I have to come down and get matched up with a receiver or whoever it may be, I'll, I'll be able to handle my own just due to the fact that I play corner. We'll do three more. Jim Ayala. 
I just want to ask about you talked about ninety five percent or you know close. What when do you when do you feel like a hundred is is realistic and then you can be you can be you again out there on the field? Um, honestly, I I don't know. Um, I would say it's kind of just up to you know my knee and whenever one day I wake up and I'm not sore and uh, I feel I feel one hundred percent, which will probably be later later on within the year. I mean, people most people say that you know it takes about nine nine months, but really to feel 100% from a knee injury like this uh, takes about a year. So uh, it just, right now I feel really good, but I got to progress in the right way in order to keep on feeling good. Is this, in terms of, uh, you know, significant injuries in your career, is this, is this the, the most? Have you dealt with anything quite like this before? No, sir. This, this is definitely the most, uh, you know, interesting injury. I've had longest um, recovery injury. So this is definitely the biggest one. Phil B. Hey, Julian, thank you for your time. Um, we were talking to T.Y. Hilton, and he was saying how impressed he was with your rehab. And I guess he said something to you the other day. You guys had a conversation. What did that mean to you, a proven player like that talking to you? Uh, it means a lot, man. Um, you know, I looked up to T.Y., uh, guys like Hook, uh, you know, going into college, I would watch their highlights and just see, you know, where, where, where I was compared to them. And it's just awesome, you know, being able to have mentors like that, um, guys, guys that don't act like, you know, they're, they're everything, you know, guys that are really humble um, and are willing to talk to you and, and tell you what they did in order to help you a little bit as a rookie. So it means a lot coming from T.Y., man. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and he has great character. I'm just happy to be a part of the Colts. Thank you. Last question, Kevin Bowen. Hey Julian, uh, do you have a date circled on the calendar as this is a goal for me to make my NFL debut in a game? Um, not really. I, I kind of just, um, you know, I'm going as can, kind of just whatever the trainers tell me to do, I go with. And um, if I feel good one day, then I feel good. But, I, you know, like I said, I've got to stay consistent and uh, continue to feel good every day so so that we're not taking any backward steps. Um, don't really have a day marked, but um, more so of when I will feel good is probably when I'll come up and uh, play 